I reckon I've got a hammy there. I think this here, I think this is gold. Oh yeah, back in the field where I had that stunning Lizzie three pence the other day. Um, field is quiet. I had a, I think I had about three or four signals when I was in this one in 45 minutes. Um, there is bits of iron in here, but generally it is quiet. It's not very trashy. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth another look. It's absolute scorching day. The ground does feel pretty solid. Um, got my sun cream on. Got the uh, machine nice and ready. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and see what I can find. Okay, in less than 30 seconds, I got my first signal. I said it was a quiet field and then I only got the signal straight away and it was a coin as well. It's a half penny. It's that uh, Victoria. It's quite, it's quite a dark tone on that. Get in the light. So 1876. That uh, is a good start. It's a really good start. Right, uh, this is my six, uh, six target, and it's a uh, buckle. Not really sure how old. It looks crudely made. Obviously got the middle bit broken there, but yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad a ratio at the moment for finding good stuff. So I've had uh, four trashy targets, but well, I say four trashy targets, three trashy targets. One of them was a button, which isn't you know the end of the world, but yeah. All right, I've got a signal here. If I try a live dig. Oh, it's tough ground. I mean, once you break through that first bit, it's not, it's not too bad. Amy Pimpro. Where is it? Come on. There it is. What have we got? <laughs> Look at that. It's a lead token. The old cross on it. And on the back. I think that's a farmer's token. Probably about the 1700s, I guess. Nice one. I barely moved a few yards and got another signal. It wasn't quite as nice signal as that one and just broken the clod open and that there. I think that's another one of these lead tokens. It's got a different pattern on the back there. It's got dots. Is that five dots? You know, I said they could have been 1700s, but I'll be honest with you, I, I, I really don't know. I've seen a few of them that were identified as 1700s, but yeah, that's pretty cool.
some good history. Not sure what this is. It's hollow on the inside there. Any ideas on that one? Then uh, yeah, please let me know. I just got this. All right, and it's a ring. I didn't think much of it at first. I mean, it was it was just here. Most, some of it was actually sticking out of the ground. Um, if I could just give it a wipe off, and there's actually if you can see like little marks in there. I think this might be a coin ring. I can't tell at the moment. It's not going to be old if it is a coin ring. But, yeah, I'll know better when I can uh, try and give it a clean and have a look in a better light. I'll say better light. It's pretty good now. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right. So that there, I'm pretty sure there's the R and there's a C which is a bit faded and then the O, it's a crown or half crown. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's well made. This was a uh, deep signal. There's only a whisper. I'll get any detail off that. A little bit of something on the edge there. Oh uh, yeah, it's toasted. But yeah, crumbs that was deep. That was just a very faint whisper. Got a very soft target here, really quiet. Imagine that's deep and that sounded a lot like that um Toasted I had about five minutes ago. Toasted coin thing. I think that was a probably George in that toasted coin. Maybe not that other signal had improved by now. Let's take a bit more. Break me show. Yeah, that's not improved. It's back there, whatever it is. There it is. Oh, it is a coin. <laughs> Would you look at that? Toasted as well. That's so deep. That was hardly anything of a signal. Oh well. Another deep target. It's a good six or seven inches down 
big old, I guess, uh, could be a musket rifle bullet. That is heavy. Solid lead. Got a little bit of silver in here. It's only milled. George V. It's a bit damaged there as well. I'm going to focus on it, there it is. Three pence. That's, um, yeah, I suppose it's half silver, isn't it? So that looks to me, in that corner's damaged, sorry. Oh, I don't know, I'll have a look when I get back, but that's... Something doesn't look right about that. Alright, just had a quiet spell, I haven't had anything for about 15 minutes. I just uh, just got this. It's a uh, gilted button. Can't quite tell what. Looks like. I don't know, some sort of. Oh, yeah, I can see now, yeah. Right, okay, so there's a bird wing. This is other wing there. Yeah. That's yeah, it's gold gilted. And another lead token. Right, another one of these uh, loom weights. Got a, uh, another weight here, by the look of it. These are only a couple of yards apart. I imagine there'll be some more around here. This isn't far from where I found the uh, that Lizzie coin. So I'm hoping there's uh, some more hammers in here. And another weight, I think, there is down there. Stuck in it. I need to just need to loosen that up a bit. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, another, another loom weight. That's the third one I've had in this little area. Just pulled up this here. And this is some sort of broken metal thing. You have a little clean of it. I think it's Edward the Seventh. Obviously, it's 1902 when Edward the Seventh was on the throne. Can't really make much else out of it. Yeah. Maybe I had to scrub it up and get a little bit more info off of it. Pigeon ring. Nineteen ninety nine. 
Right. See the edge of a coin there. What have we got? It's quite deep. Quite a deep one, mind. It's been really, really quiet this last sort of half hour. Uh, just got this though. This is a uh, quite a large pot mend. Obviously, that's what they would have plugged a pot, you know, a hole in the pot with to put lead in, and obviously that would seal it. So the pot would have been in between. That little gap there. Oh, I'll keep going for a bit more. Got a little coin here. So, we had a little look. It's a George the Fifth half penny, nineteen twenty-seven. Not too bad. Right, I've just uh, I just had to sort of double check myself on this one. Um, what I've just dug. Now, I think this here. I think this is gold. I think that is a solid gold button. Try and get focus on it. It's, it's just gold all the way through. And there's a slight mark on it as well where it might have sort of had a slight scratch at some point. And even in the slight indentation on it still, it's just gold. I'm pretty sure that is a solid gold button. <laughs> I, I, I think it is. I mean, I, I can't think what else it would be. It's heavy, it feels heavy for, you know, for its size. It's got a little pattern on it as well, what's that? <laughs> well, I, I think it's gold. <laughs> I can't... I can't think what else it would be. <laughs> That's amazing. to uh, clean clean that up and, and and yeah see if I can get a better idea on what it is I mean I'm, I think that is gold <laughs> fantastic just found this thing here not even sure what it is. Um, let's get it in the light. So it's got a loop on the end there. I don't know if that's old or not. I suppose it's got like some age to it. Uh, got about another maybe half hour. Uh, see if I find anything else. Just dug this up. I dismissed it as rubbish at first. And I realised it had this... Uh, it's got this pattern on it. I mean, it looks pretty old. Definitely part of something bigger. And whatever it was, it was decorative. I mean, is that a figure on there? No idea. Another mystery. Just pulled up this uh, big bright, I was assuming stainless steel uh, ring. I'm not sure what that's broken off of. 
quite deep. Another lead token. This one was really shallow. It might be a seal. Maybe a sack seal actually has broken. But it was in the, uh, just in the roots here. Can't see any detail on there. Or very little. It's quite a shallow signal here. I think this would be a thimble. damage there. Yeah. I've saw that in there, I was hoping that would have been intact but never mind, it's quite a short one. Got a penny in here. Nineteen ten, I think. I'll be Edward the seventh. Yep. There he is. Sack seal. A little bit of writing on there. Can't quite make that out at the moment. Got a uh, lead token here. A nice pattern to it. dug up this buckle and it uh, certainly looks to have a bit of age to it. Like a little bit of some kind of loop there that was that was on it. Well, this was a deep target. I mean, that's over the full length for the probe. And it's uh, a handle, I'm guessing. Some kind of draw handle, door handle. Another token here. Sadly, it's bent over. But I imagine that might have had a nice pattern on that. There's something there. Another coin. Shilling of 1957. This is a bit of an unusual thing. Gives off a cracking signal. No marks on it or anything. We have a uh, nice buckle in here. Yeah. 
Looks old. It's got quite a nice button here. Pretty sure it's uh, just a pewter one, but it's got a nice pattern to it. Next little find, I got the uh, the end of a key. It's a tiny little thing. Probably a uh, casket key. Okay, I just had a, a little look again, a little scan over with a coil, and I found the end of it. So there's uh, there's the handle, so to speak, and there's the other end. It's a tiny, tiny casket key. Probably medieval. Okay, I had a very deep target here. I'd say probably six inches. And I reckon, I reckon I got a hammy there. Again, that was a, uh, a faint whisper but it wasn't a very obvious target obviously now it's uh it's banging anyway let's have a look what we got i think uh i'm gonna guess lizzie I don't like rubbing these coins. Don't think it's as good as the other Lizzie I had. Let's get a uh, there might be something under there. Say what well, it's two minutes, I'll give it a clean. There she is. Not too bad. I see definitely not as uh it's crisp as the other one. This is bigger, so I'm guessing this is a sixpence. But, uh... Yeah, that ain't bad. Happy with that. I knew there had to be more hammers in here. Tell you what, to be fair, when I walked in um, that first time and I got the hammered, well, within, I don't know, probably 15, 20 minutes, um, and I thought it was going to be amazing, but I'll be honest, the field is, there's, there's some good stuff coming out, what does come out, but it's really quiet. There's, yeah, but I was expecting, I thought it was going to be like hammered all over the place, but I suppose, you know, that's just, you know, when you find one straight away, you get that kind of excitement, but yeah, yeah this is, uh, that's still good though. Another one. Yeah, very happy with that. Right, it's got a token, or half of a token. That's been about, uh, I'd say, 45 minutes since I had that uh, Lizzie. I've had maybe three or four bits of lead in between. It's really, it's really quiet. Uh, yeah. Oh, another uh, half token, or oh, yeah. a half token. Another one of these weights. That was deep. It's probably, oh, from my fingers down 
the end of the probe, that's how deep that was. That is, I think in total, uh, must be about eight I've had of these. Near enough identical weights. I think I've... Oh, it looks like it's clipped. I don't know if that was me or not. Uh, yeah, I've got um, eight of these now off here. Okay, the next item. Again, this is really deep. And this is a bit unusual. It's made of lead. Um, you've got an iron pin or something going through there. Uh, really no idea what that is. I see it's purpose made there for something. There's a... Well, I don't know what it is. Really don't know what that is. Have to uh, try and get an ID on that one. Another one of these weights. This one was shallow. Um, I actually managed. Well, I got the signal with a detector, but managed to pick it up with a pin probe on the surface. Yeah, that's uh, the other one was only what five yards away, and then between that, I've had that unusual lead thing with a steel pin that's uh it's loom weight number nine right so i had that loom weight there and i've just got another one here that's ten of them now Oh, shame they didn't drop their uh, hammer coins as much as they did the weights. I um, reckon that's probably going to be the last target for the day. Just dug up this uh, thimble. Nothing exciting. Okay, me finds for the uh, last two visits. So, we start off with these. So I've had eight more of these uh, weights. Um, now, I tried to get an idea on them. I thought they were loom weights, but somebody has suggested they could be um, the raveting nets that they'd throw out. The weights for that, I mean, which stands to reason, you know, they're all the same size. So that could well be what they are. So I've had another eight, uh, two previously so a few buttons um little more buttons in there not a vast amount not for two days really um a few buckles pigeon ring at this large pot mend um assuming it's a pot mend broken coronation thing of edward the seventh Plenty of lead tokens, a few coins, see a little silver three pence. Had a nice hammer of uh, Lizzie. That's, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a portrait still on there, it's not too bad, I've seen a lot worse. So, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good. It's at 15.93. Casket key, or well, managed to get both parts of it. We had a coin ring, 1950 coin ring that is. And then I got uh, this here, which is gold. It's a gold button, not very heavy, weighs in at two grams, but I'd say that looks like quite pure gold as well. So probably, I'm, I'm going to guess probably sort of 18, 22 carat. Oh uh, yeah, that's uh, that's brilliant. Do love finding gold. 
Uh, I'm going to try and get back over to that field again soon uh, before the grass gets uh, too long. Yeah, so look out for that video. Anyway, stay safe. See you again soon.